Hello all, my name is Abdul Rahman and welcome back to my YouTube channel. And in this video, we will be taking tour of Azure services such as the Azure Virtual Machines, Azure Kubernetes services, Azure Service Fabric. So these are some of the services that Azure is providing. These are the examples, but in real, there are a lot of services that Azure is providing. So we'll be talking about each and every service in this video. Let's go ahead and get started. Now in Azure, there are a lot of categories for some of the services, such as for the compute services, there is a category called the computing, then there is a category called networking, databases, web IoT, which is also called as Internet of Things, then the big data, a artificial intelligence, and the DevOps. So these are some of the categories. But first of all, we will be talking about the compute category. Now in the compute category, the first comes is the Azure Virtual Machines. Now Windows or Linux Virtual Machines are hosted in the Azure. Now if you remember guys, if you watch my machine learning series, right, where we have installed something called as Oracle Virtual Machine. So where we work, where we are working with the virtual machines, right, but in the Azure that's provided, we don't need to install some other app for using the virtual machine. So these are hosted in the Azure. Now you might be thinking what the heck, what actually is virtual machine. Let me explain it to you. Now a virtual machine is like a toy car that you can drive inside your real toy car, right? But it's like a miniature version of the car, but you can control, but it's not a real car itself, right? But you are just playing with the toy. So you can use to play and have fun like how you can use a virtual machine to run programs and do the work. Now, and just like with a real car, you can customize your toy car, toy car by adding different parts and the accessories. In the same way, you can customize your virtual machine by adding different software or adjusting it to make, adjusting it to settings to make it work better for you. So this is what the virtual machine is. So it's not a real computer, so it's a it's a computer inside your computer okay so you don't need to purchase a new laptop or a computer to use some other operating system so it's like a miniature right so you can use the linux so if you remember in the machine learning series we installed the oracle virtual machine at that time we were using the windows 11 and the linux both at the time right but we don't need to restart our computer so those things were not happening right now Let's talk about the Azure Virtual Machines. So as I said that Windows, Windows or Linux Virtual Machines are hosted in the Azure. Now Azure Virtual Machine Scale Sets, let's talk about it. Now scaling for Windows or Linux Virtual Machines are hosted in Azure. So you can scale up and scale down. Now we know that there are virtual machines in the Azure, but in the Azure, you can scale up and scale down the virtual machines. Now, then comes is the Azure Kubernetes service. Now, cluster management for the virtual machines that run container, containerized services, right? So that is also called as the Azure Kubernetes services. Then comes is Azure service fabric. After some time, I'm going to show a picture where you can see a lot of Azure services, okay? So let's talk about these services. First of all, Azure container instance, these are the these are the services that comes in the category of the computing okay now let's talk about the networking now link computer resources link linking compute resources and providing access to the applications is the key to function of azure networking right now networking functionally in azure includes a range of options to connect the outside world to service and features in the global azure data centers now there's a, there are a lot of data centers worldwide Azure data centers okay now let's talk about some of the services some of the examples of the networking services right now the first comes is Azure virtual network now connect connects the virtual machines to incoming virtual private network which is also called as the VPN now a lot of people heard a word named VPN you might be thinking what actually is VPN so its full form is watch virtual private network connections so it Azure Virtual Network, what it does is it's going to connect the virtual machines to incoming VPN connections. Okay. Now the second comes is the Azure Load Balancer. 
Now it's going to balance the inbound and the outbound connections to applications or the service endpoints. Then comes is the Azure DNS provides the ultra fast DNS responses and the ultra high domain availability. Now the second and then comes is the Azure application gateway optimizes the app server farm delivery while increasing applications security so these are some of the services now there are a lot more services in the networking so i have just given the examples now let's talk about a category called the storage now in the storage azure provides the four main types of the storage services azure blob storage azure file storage azure queue storage and the azure table storage first of all let's talk about azure blob storage now storage service for a for very large objects such as a video files or bitmaps right so where at that place we can use the azure blob storage for example right now i am creating this video now i want to save this video now i don't have a lot of space on my actual laptop right so i purchased the subscription from the azure on the azure and then i created something called as azure blob storage where I am storing my video, which will be stored in the Azure data centers, right? So that is also called as the Azure Blob Storage, and you can also store the bitmaps. Now the second comes is the Azure File Storage. Now file stage, file stage that can be accessed and managed like a file server. So Azure File Storage with the name you might be understood, you might understood that, right? So Azure File Storage where you can save the files and share that can be accessed and managed like a file server so it's simple let's talk about azure queue storage now a data store for queuing and reliably delivering messages between the applications so this is used for the azure queue tables azure, azure queue storage now the last one this azure table storage table storage is service that, that stores non-relational structured data also known as the no SQL data, right? So we talked about MySQL. So there is a called as see this called as MySQL, right? So there we talked about the relational or relational databases, and we also talked about the no SQL, right? So that's what it does. Now tip storage is a service that stores non-relational structured data, such as also known as the no SQL data in the cloud, providing a key key or attribute storage with a schemeless design now these services all share several common categories characteristics let's talk about them what are them the first one comes is the durable now and durable and high available with redundancy and the application then secure through automatic encryption and the role based access control then the third comes is the scalable with virtual and unlimited storage the fourth comes is managed handling maintenance and any critical problems for you and the final one is accessible from anywhere in the world over the http or https now the main use of azure is so so azure has a big benefit and that is you can use azure from anywhere in the world it's not like you can just use this from this laptop or from that laptop any other laptop so you have to just enter your email address then you can work from anywhere from anywhere in the world now let's talk about a category called as databases and before that i want to talk about the mobile now in the mobile with azure developers can create mobile back and services for the ios android and the windows apps quickly and easily features that used to take time and increase the project risks such as adding corporate sign-in and then connecting to on-premises resources such as SAP Oracle SQL Server and the SharePoint are now simple to include. Now other features of this of the service include such as the offline data synchronization then connectivity to the on-premises data then broadcasting the push the, push the notifications then auto scaling to match business needs let's talk about the database uh, database category now azure provides multiple database services to store a wide wide variety of data types and the volumes 
and with global connectivity this data is available to users instantly so such as the azure cosmos db azure sql database azure C database for mysql postgresql sql server on azure virtual machines now the one of the best benefits i feel is on the azure is like now if we have seen my mysql video or some others mysql series right now if you want to create a mysql database then you have to go there and just try to create this do do that all of the stuff happens and you will be very much confused with working with mysql but in azure it's not like that you have to just go there you want to create this one just click and then the database is created for you so it's pretty much simple just no need of any code in the azure now such as now one more comes is azure synapse analytics azure database migration service azure database for maria db let's talk about azure cosmos db now globally distributed database that supports the no sql option then the second comes is the azure sql database fully managed relational database with auto scale integral intelligence and the robust activity now with my uh, with uh, azure you can't only create the database you can also create the tables by just clicking there you don't need to write each and every code for so in the mysql what you have to do you have to go there and then click on that if you remember right you have to do that but in azure with just one click everything will be created the structured databases and then mysql databases all of them will be created so with this is one of the benefits now let's talk about the web having a great web experience having great web experience is critical critical in today's business world right now azure includes first class support to build and host the web apps and http web services default now there are some of the azure services and they are focused on web hosting the first comes is azure app services the second is azure notification apps then the azure api management all of the stuff let's talk about azure app service now it's going to quickly create powerful cloud web based apps then the second comes is azure notification hubs so it's going to send the push notifications to any platform from any backend then the third comes is azure api management so it's going to publish apis to developers partners and employees securely and at at a scale then the fourth then there is a category called iot internet of things now there are a lot of categories and like as i said that big data is there devops is there artificial, artificial intelligence is there so these are a lot of services now i want to show you an image now in azure there are a lot of categories for some of the services such as for the come on talk about the mobile now in the mobile with azure developers can create mobile back and services for the ios android and the windows apps quickly and easily features that used to take time and increase the project risks such as adding corporate sign in and then connecting to on premises resources such as sap oracle sql server and the sharepoint are now simple to include now other features of this of the service include such as the offline data synchronization then connectivity to the on premises data then broadcasting the post the push the notifications then auto scaling to match business needs let's talk about the database uh, database category now azure provides multiple database services to store a wide wide variety of data types and the volumes and with global connectivity this data is available to users instantly so such as the azure cosmos db azure sql database azure C database for mysql postgresql sql server on azure virtual machines now the one of the best benefits i feel is on the azure is like now if we have seen my mysql video or some others mysql series right now if you want to create a mysql database then you have to go there and just try to create this do do that all of the stuff happens and you will be very much confused with working with mysql but in azure it's not like that you have to just go there you want to create this one just click and then the database is created for you so it's pretty much simple 
just no need of any code in the azure now such as now one more comes is azure snaps analytics azure database migration service azure database for maria db let's talk about azure cosmos db now globally distributed database that supports the no sql option then the second comes is the azure sql database fully managed relational database with auto scale integral intelligence and the robust activity now with my uh, with uh, azure you can't only create the database you can also create the tables by just clicking there you don't need to write each and every code for so in the mysql what you have to do you have to go there and then click on that if you remember right you have to do that but in azure with just one click everything will be created the structured databases and then mysql databases all of them will be created so with this is one of the benefits now let's talk about the web having a great web experience having a great web experience is critical critical in today's business world right now azure includes first class support to build and host the web apps and http web services default now there are some of the azure services and they are focused on web hosting the first comes is azure app services the second is azure notification hubs then the azure api management all of the stuff let's talk about azure app service now it's going to quickly create powerful cloud web based apps then the second comes is azure notification hubs so it's going to send the push notifications to any platform from any backend then the third comes is azure api management so it's going to publish apis to developers partners and employees securely and at at a scale then the fourth then there is a category called iot internet of things now there are a lot of categories and like as i said that big data is there devops is there artificial, artificial intelligence is there so these are a lot of services now i want to show you an image so yeah here yeah. so so it's going to look something like this okay now it now these are the platform services that azure is providing as such as the platform services application platform so it's used for the mobile apps the cloud services notification hubs these are the functions now the compute services are the container services you might be thinking what are the resources resource group all of those stuff so these those are the different thing in azure so we will be talking about them in another video so for the data sql databases are used hybrid for the hybrid these are the used and security and the management security center azure portal that you, that we are using right now the main use of azure portal is for management of the databases or whatever that you are creating such as the databases all of the stuff now analytics and iot internet of things so these are used such as the machine learning stream analytics data lake story all the stuff for the compute virtual machines is very much used then for the storage as i told you that these are the blob queues files and the disks then for the networking watch networking load balancer dns express route traffic manager vpn gateway and the app gateway so these are the services that azure provides us so it's very for, it's very much useful for us so so anyhow guys that's all for this video i hope you liked and enjoyed watching this video and in the next video we will start to work with azure because in that in the next video we will talk about the resource groups what are the resources because resource group and resources both of them are pretty much different so we'll be talking about that in another tutorial thank you for watching this video if you have any questions give that in the comments below i will see you all in another tutorial thanks for watching goodbye